Okay guys, now we're gonna moving on to crock pot mashed potatoes. I found this recipe several years ago and my family loves it. Of course, who wouldn't love it when it's got cheese and sour cream and butter in it, but hey, it makes a lot. So we're gonna start out with five pounds of uh, potatoes chopped. So in our, in our pan, we have, I've already chopped up five pounds of potatoes, cover them with water. Okay, to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. You could use garlic powder, but who wants to? Nobody. And then we're going to add uh, two cubes of chicken bouillon. Now what we like to use instead of the chicken bouillon, well it is bouillon, but it's not cubes, it is uh, the powder. So this is one, two teaspoons of the chicken bouillon. So that would be two chicken bouillon cubes, or it would be um, two teaspoons. So we're gonna have to, we're starting that, and we're gonna have to let that come to a boil. It'll come to a boil, and Donna's gonna watch it, and then when it does, she's gonna turn it down until the potatoes get tender. So we're gonna continue cooking our meal, and then we're gonna, gonna come back and do some other things to these potatoes in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're ready for our second installment of our mashed potatoes. Donna, if you'll, the mashed potatoes, Donna, if you'll show that they're done, so what she's going to do is to strain those out. Now she's got a bowl underneath the strainer to catch some of the liquid. Tell me when you're ready, Don, and I'll remove that. All right, so we want to save some of this, uh, some of the potato water, and then Donna's going to dump the rest of that out. All right, the potatoes are hot, so while they're hot, uh, we're going to move on to what we're going to add to those potatoes next. So Don, if you'll just dump those back into the, to the uh, bowl, and then we'll bring them back over here to our station and we will mash them. All right, Donna has our potatoes here. We're gonna add just a little bit of the water, the potato water that we saved. And to those hot potatoes, we're going to add one eight ounce cream cheese. We're gonna let it melt in there with her potatoes. Donna, let me break it up a little bit for you and that might be a little easier and also one cup or eight ounces of sour cream. She's continuing to, she's gonna, it's gonna be a little easier once this kind of melts in there for her to mash that together. So the second, first of all, remember what we did? We had, we, we uh, peeled five pounds of potatoes, we covered them with water, we added garlic and uh, chicken bouillon to them. We put them over here, brought them to a boil, Donna continued to cook them, until they got done, okay? That was the first thing. They were done, we just rinsed them out, saved some of the potato water out. Don, I'm gonna add a little bit of this to that. And now we're mashing them with, some, with one eight ounce cream cheese and one eight ounce sour cream. So we're gonna continue to mash those, and when those get completely mashed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in a crock pot. Now let me talk to you about this while she continues to mash. And Donna, if you need more of this, just add it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray with cooking spray the inside of my crock pot. Now, many of you may use crock pot liners. Sometimes I do that. And if so, you know, you would wanna cover it with a liner and then put this mashed potato mixture into the liner. Sometimes if I'm doing it ahead of time for uh, uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'll put it into the liner, I'll, co I'll close it up, put that liner in the refrigerator. Then the morning that we're gonna have you know, whatever holiday, I'll take that liner out of the refrigerator, put it in, cover it up, and then uh, it'll cook for a couple hours on low. Be wonderful, wonderful mashed potatoes. So Donna, if that's good with you, we, have, we may have a few chunks in it, but it won't matter because we like chunks, because we like potatoes. potatoes. Donna, I'm gonna go ahead if you, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put those into our crock pot. So, at this point, we're going to plug it, the crock pot into the, um, into the uh, electricity and then we'll cook it for on low for two hours. But like I said before, you can also put it into your crock, get the crock, set the, get the crock out, put the crock into the refrigerator and pull it out the next day or the next day whenever you want to serve it and warm it up. 
so we're not finished with this yet T today we're going to finish we're going to finish it later i'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we'll let it cook for a couple hours on low <laughs> 